Robert Downey Jr. has been acting forever. From a very young age, he's had parts in his father Robert Downey Sr.'s movies. Born to a director and an actress, he seemed destined for a career in showbiz. I know who I am! I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude! And what a career it's been. Beginning with his dad's movie Pound in 1970, he made his big screen debut as a puppy. And from there, little by little, his career started to take off. Robert Downey Jr. has held a few different positions in Hollywood and has gone from one of the lowest to one of the highest paid actors of all time. This is the amazing evolution of Robert Downey Jr. in movies. Venturing outside of his father's films, Downey Jr. was cast as cool guy Ian in the 1985 classic Weird Science. The actor was also part of the cast of Saturday Night Live for a while, before signing up to play Julian, the coke-addicted teenager from 1987's Less Than Zero. The movie was based on the Bret Easton Ellis novel of the same name, and gave him the opportunity to flex his dramatic chops. Suddenly, people were saying, holy shit, this kid can act. Good thing, too, because he was on his way to working with one of the most in-demand actors of the time, someone who would turn out to be a very important ally down the road. Working with Mel Gibson on 1990's Air America, the two actors became fast friends. As Billy, Downey played a young pilot who loses his license during the Vietnam War era. As a result, his job opportunities are minimal, so when he's recruited to fly delivery planes in Laos, he accepts. The only downside is that his peers and bosses are actually all dangerous criminals. And what started as a neat employment opportunity quickly erodes into a life-threatening situation. As a director, Richard Attenborough told the stories of important historical figures, Winston Churchill, Mahatma Gandhi, and Ernest Hemingway, to name a few. But it was when he sought to tell the story of comedy legend Charlie Chaplin that he crossed paths with Robert Downey Jr. The role required versatility, someone who can nail Chaplin's comedic timing as well as his tortured soul. Audiences were taken aback by what the actor could do and were in awe of the physical resemblance between the two men. The Academy took notice too, and come award season, his performance earned him a nomination in the Best Actor category. Over the decade that followed his Oscar nom, the actor went through struggles in his personal life. Some of them got him into trouble with Hollywood, and as a result, his reputation came under fire. After all the negative press, filmmakers were reluctant to cast Downey Jr., but if you take a look at his IMDb page, it appears as though he never stopped working, even if there is a noticeable difference in the quality of his characters. In 2003, a good word from old friend Mel Gibson went a long way. In talking with the team behind The Singing Detective, Gibson suggested they also cast RDJ, and vouched for his friend in a big way, which some people argue was the turning point of his whole career. Cited among lifelong fans as their favorite RDJ performance, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang was the birth place of a brand new kind of sarcastic wise-ass. And if you haven't seen it, you really should. Directed by Shane Black and co-starring Val Kilmer, the movie is a twisting murder mystery with some of the most epic and witty exchanges of all time. And if you can keep up with the back and forth, you'll probably agree. The 2005 comedy seemed to soften audiences up a little, and the actor's career picked up steam and hasn't stopped since. In his work as Harry Lockhart, RDJ proved that he can handle the kind of dialogue that requires a sharp tongue. Good thing, too, because perfectly Timed rant happened to be the main export of the next big character heading his way. Without a question, the actor is a household name because of his work as Tony Stark, aka Iron Man. The relatively niche character is now a veritable worldwide phenomenon, and audiences will flood the theater every single time the Avenger appears on the big screen. That's good news for everyone. Fans get more of what they want, the studio gets to expand the cinematic universe, and the actor gets to keep playing a character he clearly loves. It's a good thing that playing Stark has been such a positive experience so far, since Iron Man still has a few more appearances to make. Clearly, Robert Downey Jr. is a man of many talents. His characters are layered and complex, always interesting, but the amount of layers belonging to Kirk Lazarus in Tropic Thunder is over the top. And that's exactly the point. The dude playing the dude disguised as another dude is an Oscar-winning Australian method actor who gets cast as a soldier and then turns into a soldier for real. You know what? It's complicated. Just do yourself a favor and watch the movie. By 2009, RDJ had experience playing characters that had first become famous in books. And since the stories of Sherlock Holmes have been corrupted so many times, we can't blame anyone who was skeptical when they first heard about the Guy Ritchie reboot. With Jude Law playing the Watson to his Holmes, Downey blew viewers away with his take on the titular detective, and even won a Golden Globe for it. The movie was incredibly successful, and so was its sequel. Recently, it was announced that the franchise is getting a third installment, and we can't wait. In between saving the world 
and being a dad, the actor has also founded a production company, fittingly named Team Downey. Along with his wife Susan, they recently produced a film called The Judge in 2014. And because he clearly didn't have enough on his plate already, he starred in it too. Hey everyone, if you liked this video, make sure that you check out our friends at The Taco YouTube channel. They've got brand new list videos for you every single day that you won't be able to stop watching. Make sure to check out their latest video, subscribe to their channel, and don't forget to tell them that Screen Rant sent you. Did we miss any other interesting roles from Robert Downey Jr.'s career? Tell us about them in the comments section, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos like this one.